Hello and welcome to another stream here on Behance and YouTube. I'm Anna Davis Court. I'm a children's book illustrator. The disembodied voice, he's over there, uh, is Anthony hello. Sims. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Our captions are being funky. It looks like they're black to me right now. Once again, uh, this is a an issue with OBS. So sorry for our hard of hearing friends. You probably don't know what I'm saying right now, but maybe in the replay because there's also live captions that, or not live captions, after the fact captions that happen on Behance. Uh, but the uh, problem is with OBS. I told you guys last week I was going to do a compu like complete reboot of my computer, like take all the files off, factory reset it. However, uh, James made the very good point that I was hosting Adobe Live this week with Sam Peterson. Catch the replays. Hey. Uh, and so I decided, yeah, I'm going to wait until after that to mess with my computer just so I don't, uh, you know, mess with it too hard and then it breaketh. <laughs> so uh, that was a long-winded way of saying there's still issues and I apologize for that but uh, we're still gonna draw it seems like the screen is updating in a timely manner so you will be able to watch me draw which is really the point of the whole thing uh, real quick Anthony how are you doing it's been a while it's been a while since I was on stream or just I feel like I just have been in a, a weird state of haven't talked to you in a while <laughs> Usually life is like, oh yeah, I talked to Anthony two days ago. I know how time works. But now it's kind of like, I don't know when the last time was, and I feel like time doesn't exist. So, how are you? That's all my question is. I'm persevering. <laughs> Trying to not let work stress get to me. Everybody uh, put a heart in the chat for Anthony. He's going through a lot of work, and so he's well, not going to be reading the chat uh, today with us. He is the click clacking on his uh, mechanical keyboard is him working. So uh, just know that he's clack. doing this stuff. <laughs> uh, we've I don't got... feel as bad for me as I do for the lead retoucher on this project because they're really the one interfacing with the two clients basically. And I'm just getting the filtered information of what that's like. And it's just stressful <laughs> in general. You just get the back end of like. <laughs> I mean, it does affect me in some manner because they're like the images. They're not satisfied. <laughs> okay, it's nothing we're doing. It's just a lack of communication of what they want done. That is a big problem. Uh, heads up, if you are a client ever in any project, just yeah, have a clear idea of what will make you happy it makes everything so much easier yeah and literally just check uh, in more often so that if you're down to the wire of like oh the due date's approaching and we're seeing this and we hate it you don't get <laughs> snappy because apparently that happened and i'm so glad i wasn't on a phone call where someone snapped at me because no i don't know if good. i would be like i i literally can't be on this call with you anymore call me back when you're not rude well, especially when you've been working, like, a lot to make them happy. And it's like, uh, well, I, I can't deal with this information right now. I guess that's why we have people who are at the in-betweens. <laughs> I just be like, oh, my connection, bad. <laughs> oh, whoops, going through a tunnel. Bye. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. By the way, you're getting some hearts in the chat. Some from Joe. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Joe. Everybody say hi to Joe, of one of our mods. People we haven't seen in a while. Absolutely. Uh, there are links below for our regular mods, one of which is Kendall and the other of which is Joe. And uh, yeah, we've got some awesome work from both of them. So definitely check them out. I know like 99% of you guys are regulars and already know that, but still. Uh, we've also got Alessandra as the first in the chat. Whoop, whoop. Gold star for you, Alessandra. Great job. We've got Muhammad. Annika, hello. How are you? Uh, we've hey, got Annika. Rin uh, watching through YouTube, but chatting here while nomming dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. What are you eating for dinner? What are you buying? What are you selling? <laughs> what are you munching? <laughs> Joe says that they're proud of you, Anthony. So good. Oh, thank you. Rin says, uh, sends all the colors of hearts. All of them. <laughs> it's Pride Month after all. <laughs> the tail end of it, but Pride is forever, so don't just make it a month. Make it a whole lifetime, baby. The tail end's the best end. Oh, you know, Captions decided to kind of pop in for a second. Just a second. Interesting. 
Anyways, uh, they're also misaligned because I couldn't see them to make them aligned. So even if we get them, they're not properly spaced or whatever. So anyways, <laughs> uh, Rin says you've got this, Anthony. Alessandra leaving hearts in the chat. Thank you guys so much for your support. It's lovely. Uh, there is also Carlos in the YouTube chat. Hello, Carlos. Uh, we are usually chatting over on Behance. So just to let you know, that's where we're going to be mainly reading the chat. But it's also good to see you. Uh, so let's jump into our mm, our black void. There it is. Hey. Yeah. Woof, 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 woof. Okay, I'm so familiar. today. <laughs> we're all familiar with the black void, right? It's what we see every time we look in a mirror. Duh. Okay, I don't know why this reminded me, but I'll tell you after you introduce what you're doing. I want to know. Can you show me? Uh, I don't know where my my glove is. Oh, it's way over there. Whatever. My hand's going to not slide. So, uh, yeah, to introduce you a little bit to what you're looking at right now, this is a sketch that I did in my traditional sketchbook. Ooh, it's so fancy and, like, geometric. Uh, but, yeah, I, I sketched it uh, in here when I was just sitting on the couch one night and I liked it and so I wanted to paint it with y'all. So there's the actual sketch. I took a picture on my phone. It's not a good picture. We're not going to really be using it other than for the base design. I'm going to sketch over it. So um, yeah, this is the, the image that we're working with right now. I think we're going to make it either, well, we could do a spot illo or we could do a full on illustration. I think what I'm, my goal is, is I'm going to make everything uh, able to be backgrounded does that make sense yeah yeah no. sure so that we have <laughs> the you... option of <laughs> putting a background in if we feel like it they are flying so i think a background um, could be a really like simple sky background okay. yeah the idea here is three witches on a broomstick and uh it's it's called carpool that's why i put it <laughs> carpool down here and it's like the three broomsticks three broomsticks from harry potter but kind of reversed the one broomstick and three witches there you go boom nailed it <laughs> so uh yeah this is the idea is like oh the other two uh didn't have their brooms that day or just needed to travel or whatever and so this one responsible one at the front is like scooched up onto the front of her broom which usually she has like full reign of and now is uh relegated to the very edge of it to fit the other two and then one of them is like dearly holding on for life and this is reflected in each of them have a cat that looks kind of like them where they're like mm -hmm. their emotion That's is reflected <laughs> And then uh, the third one is the loopy one who's just like, whoops, my book fell out. I guess I'll go grab it. And it's like trying to support herself on the tail of the broom. And she's just falling right through because there's no support under there. What's the cat reaching for? Also the paper? Well, I was going to put like a, a choker on her and have like a bell coming off of it. So it's like okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I see. I see that now. But you can see I erased a lot of things around this area because I was like, where do I put the cat? Where do I put the cat? Uh, the other two it fit in pretty easily, but that one was like a... And obviously this is a very loose sketch, so we're going to uh, refine it to be a little bit more cohesive and understandable. We may completely change the positioning of things, the proportion of things. That's that's art, baby. Uh, hey, and Alessandra's asking, how is everyone doing with the heat? It's so much better today. Anthony, how are you doing? Huh? Me? Or yeah, with is the Anthony heat? Jackson in the chat? No, Oh, you. it's not too bad today. It seems like mid-70s, low-70s. It's very overcast, and I think that helps a lot. Absolutely, it does. And yesterday it was in... Oh, golly. Did it hit 100? I'm not sure. This yesterday is was Tuesday. I think it was 90-something. Okay. And then today, at least in the morning, it was like... 70s 80s and i was like this is amazing after the two days yeah. that we've had it feels <laughs> like i'm not constantly sweating which is quite novel and lovely <laughs> i was saying that to ashley the other day because it was like 114 and then the next day was supposed to be like 97 and i was like oh 20 degrees <laughs> basically like 20 degrees less so that's gonna feel amazing it's gonna Absolutely. be like Ooh, get me my winter jacket Ooh, so chilly <laughs> I love it so much, and it, it's just extremely, uh, like, I don't know, refreshing to feel like I wake up and I don't feel like I have a headache instantly. It's great. Um, so basically, kind of like how I feel when coming out of winter into spring, it's like I'm born again. I'm like, ah, life, beauty, it's all around us. 
Uh, so it's much, much better here. I am so sorry for everybody who's still having to brave really, really bad heats. Uh, on Monday, for those of you who don't know, and if you're watching the replay and this is like a little time capsule, we just went through a historic heat wave in the Pacific Northwest and it was up to, I think the high was 115 in the Portland area. That sounds about right. <sighs> I've never experienced heat like that. And I didn't truly, actually, I refused to go outside. James hopped outside for a second and was like, I just want to feel what it feels like, actually. And he was saying that, like, no breeze was a reprieve. No, like, nothing felt like you weren't in an oven. It was just completely all-encompassing. And uh, when he stuck his arm out into the sun, it, like, instantly felt like, ow. <laughs> Which is crazy to me. Like, what is that? Um, and so, yeah, we are feeling much better now. Thank goodness. I was dying. And also hosted Adobe Live during that. So if you guys see me and I'm, like, real shiny. No, you looked great. <laughs> you handled it like such a pro. It didn't even come up once that you're like, oh, I'm dying. <laughs> so long. But thankfully, it's earlier in the day the adobe live so yeah, the yeah. high point didn't happen until later oh my gosh i'm so grateful for that sometimes they have me host and it's like yeah mid midday and i was actually really grateful that time <laughs> i also feel like i slept or i don't know if i slept better but i i definitely wasn't happy when i woke up i felt like i was in pain but um <laughs> oh. i didn't feel as tired as i usually do when i woke up so there was something to it i don't know uh, by the way, Joe says, I'm the book one. Let's be honest. <laughs> the Out of the witches. Yeah, tag yourself in this. I want to know, which one are you? Uh, also, we need to come up with names and characteristics. This is just the very preliminary sketch that we have down. So we can make them completely different looking characters. We can make them just all, all around. We can change anything. This is our canvas. So... Uh, I would love to know if you guys have any ideas for this and see what kind of stuff we can come up with. Rin says, oh, I'm so happy the heat has passed for you folks. Alessandra says, I'm melting, y'all. It's 99 over here and it feels like 104. So humid. Oh, that's another part of it is like the stifling air thickness. Ugh, ugh. Uh, Joe says, thinking of all you hot babes during this wild time. Thank you. <laughs> all us hot babes. Uh, yeah, is it? wintering right now for you <laughs> are you wintered over Tell it's colorado joe. it's not like a no it was joe australia oh <laughs> right okay <laughs> not like hey kendall what's it like in colorado is it winter there <laughs> uh, <laughs> well there was oh that one gosh. time where it was experiencing forest fires on one side on either side and then like a snowstorm in the middle wasn't that last year absolutely yeah there are just weird things going on also like the winter hitting texas really hard and then the summer hitting portland or northwest pacific northwest really hard it's all the places that it shouldn't be happening usually there's something wrong people do you want to get into a deeper conversation about this because i will Save Let's go deep. Vote for change. Okay, anyways, Green New Deal. <laughs> so Kendall says, <laughs> really nice ASMR with the clickety-clacking keyboards. Oh, yeah. So you're oh, you actually like pleasing. Plenty yes. more to come. <laughs> uh, Joe says, it's kind of, yeah. <laughs> kind of wintering. <laughs> really, really, really foggy this morning. Ooh, I love good fog. Especially when it dissipates, because then you get the experience, but it's not like a hindrance. It's great. Uh, Colorado says, lol, Col Col wait, did I say Colorado said? You Ken did, yes. Kendall, you're now known as Colorado. <laughs> Kendall, Colorado. She speaks for this state. <laughs> uh, it's, She's it the is governor. cooler, but not winter. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. I don't know how hemispheres or seasons work. I joke, I kid, I just. Uh, Kendall says, Explain them. Oh, uh, Northern Hemisphere right now is in summer. Southern is in winter. Yeah. The toilets flush backwards. Yes. I don't know why, yes. but it's real cool. <laughs> Whirlpool. It's the magnetic poles. Yeah, something. Magnets, how do they work? Uh, I actually watched a video on that, so I know a little bit more about how they work, but it's not something that sinks into my brain and settles. Just floats on the top until it drips away. 
Kendall says, we did get hail the other day, so it got pretty cold at one point. Ooh, hail. Hail, yeah. <laughs> Joe says, let me take a photo and post it in the Discord. Ooh, good fog photo. Love it. Kendall says, I'm Colorado now. <laughs> Lol, the toilets flush backwards. <laughs> it's a perfect explanation of what happens, right? Duh. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, yeah. It catches up after, like, a second of me painting. All right, so what I'm going to do is first get my glove because I can't take the stickiness. One sec. Okay, so this is my glove. It just covers the two fingers that touch the screen. And so, yeah, my hand is just, like, slightly sticking to this antique. And it's the worst feeling in the world, if you guys know. Anthony Jackson is in the chat. So is Tara. Hello. 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 Anthony Jackson says, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Rin says, idea. Owls flying along with the witches. The positioning of the wings could show the speed and motion of flight. That is a great idea. I will leave a note. So, hoot hoot. Oh, that's not an owl. <laughs> Here, I'm going to do just like wings, a little bod. Well, they have like flat faces. So I'm just going to. It's a toka that. kiss. Oh, is it? I think so. I made a Pokemon. What? <laughs> Do you think that was the design process for them? Uh, let's make an owl. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Exactly. laughs> this one's more owly. There we go. I've drawn owls before. Trust me. Huh. <laughs> uh, Kendall says, too many toilet things on the mind. We're getting our septic tank redone. I know, Kendall. I keep on meaning to like reply to the, uh, the chat we have where it's like all of Kendall's yard being torn up. And then Anthony saying, I want to play in that dirt. And then Kendall saying, you don't. It's like full of poop. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really what's happening? <laughs> I suppose if they're replacing the septic <laughs> tank, there could have been a, a breach. <laughs> There's a breach. Okay, so all all of my knowledge of septic tanks comes from Meet the Parents. So if it's yellow, let it me mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. No, I hate that. That's from was that Meet the Fosters? Fosters? That's not what they're called, but sure. Oh, um. It's fine. Don't say it. <laughs> I was going to say demonetize, but what? I don't even know what happens if we break the rules here, but I don't want to know. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do some basic positioning sketching, sketchy as uh, of getting, like, drawing through things and getting the bodies kind of in a good position. Fix any things that feel a little janky to me from the first sketch. Um, but yeah, the uh, do you know about septic tanks, Anthony? My grandma has one because she's not incorporated into the city sewer system. Is that Unincorporated. Right? Um, so yeah, I know a little, but not a lot. I know that they're like, it's an underground reservoir made of like cement walls. It's probably the size of like a above ground swimming pool in the backyard. You know, the kind mm -hmm. maybe like Ten foot across, maybe even a little smaller than that. I don't know how far down they go though, but there is this patch because my when I was visiting my grandma recently, there's this patch that's a perfect circle of dead grass where they <gasps> where like... a demon was killed. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh! Claudia, sometimes I have bowels, bowel movements like that. <laughs> <laughs> don't you feel that sometimes? Stop. Anyway, so that's how I know like the dimensions of it is Ryan uh, Selfie as as... typing in a different language in the chat sorry to interrupt but this is uh, something most that likely I'm he very... was drawing UFO earlier on his stream so maybe he's assimilated to an alien race that we're unfamiliar with what is um... happening <laughs> <I'm so confused. laughs> I honestly right, don't know continue sorry I'm just very like what? I think there's also something that you need to flush down your toilet every once in a while to like treat the septic tank, but yeah. that's the part I'm fuzzy on. I'm, I'm not sure. What the uh, and I also don't know how often they have to come out to clean it. Come out thing. to play, yay! I gotta call my grandma, we could get her on the stream. Okay, Claudia, tell us about your septic tank. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were going to talk about art. No, we need to know. How many times do you feed it the chemicals? Is that what you call pooping? <laughs> Stop! We just got simulcast and that was the first thing they heard. 
cool. Hi, Adobe Live. Thanks for being here. Uh, <laughs> we're just chit chatting about septic tanks, and you came in at the wrong time. So, hi, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ryan says, Grandma Anthony on stream, please. Um, there is a disembodied voice happening on this stream. It is Anthony Sims, my best friend. Usually he's uh, reading the chat and stuff, but today he is working. So just to give you a heads up, I'm going to be reading the chat, which means I'm drawing a little slower. We are drawing on this uh, little sketch that I did in my sketchbook. Analog. What? Bringing it into digital. And uh, it's these three witches on a little broomstick. And yeah, we're just basically clarifying stuff right now. Just started into it. Uh, and usually I do children's book illustration. Okay, there we go. We got the whole thing in there. Uh, now tell me more about what do you think? Okay, no, no, no. The oh. question is, Yes. would you get a septic tank? If like- I don't know if I would opt for one. If a sewer option was available, I think it's less of a hassle to be incorporated, but Okay, so if you had the option of a house that's in the sewer, connected to the sewer system, but you like this other house a little bit more, but it's got a septic tank. I would go for the house that I liked more. Yeah? Right. Yeah. The other one's fine. I don't think it's unmanageable to have a septic tank. It's just the other one's a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you have to pay for the people to come out and take care of it. And I guess in Kendall's case, they're replacing theirs, so... I don't know what that cost is like, but it seems like it has a finite lifespan depending on when it was put in. So there's definitely more costs associated with it. Definitely. There's other things that can come up, but I don't know. I, I don't know that there are any things in, um, in the sewer system <laughs> that we usually use, uh, that are like that. Like, oh yeah, they're, uh, <laughs> they're uh just sorry i got distracted by the chat they're so funny uh <laughs> but the nope i lost it never mind mid thought gone but at least you got asmr clickety clack uh it's, ryan says to, wait today he isn't feeling cute what oh okay, who's not feeling it. cute ryan says it's just anthony in a wig that's me what What's I your hair look like right now? Oh, I guess I could. Are you on OBS? Oh, I guess you're on Behance. <laughs> I should go to Behance and like your stream. Boy. Mm. You know, it's true. I should have just plugged my camera right into OBS because right now I am using OBS Ninja for no reason. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so let's see. Rin said analog, you say? Anna log? Like my Your name. hair looks nice. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, whoosh. Oh, whoosh I showered indeed. today. <laughs> Who can say that? None of you. None of you. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for Beth to respond. So I can read the chat for a second. Oh my. Bill in the chat saying, really, I needed to hear about human waste ball in the creative zone? Yeah, <laughs> done with this nonsense. Why would I ever want to watch another of these? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> the mood I want. Hey, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, if you're not familiar with our stream, it's, uh, gonna it's very oops all bloops and sometimes poops. So <laughs> <laughs> you either love it or you leave. Love it or leave um, it. We're just here. You don't have to watch. No, I love it. <laughs> I love it. So Ryan much. says, ha ha ha. No, Anthony in a wig, quote unquote, was a reference to grandma anthony being just anthony and oh my gosh. i'm all You're over the place claudia. too many jokes to keep up and quote <laughs> anthony isn't on stream today because he's using septic tank <laughs> i need the whole thing just direct <laughs> contact don't understand it's fine neither did bill <laughs> I think you're holding it against Bill too much. I think <laughs> I, I could read that as a funny comment. Like, I thought it was funny too, but uh, <laughs> I think they legit left. <laughs> That's fine. It's also totally fine. Uh, I'm just saying that because that makes it feel like it wasn't a joke. And also, why take the time to say this stream is bad? It was a bad. long comment. Yeah, no. <laughs> they didn't even. No, it wasn't that the stream is bad. They said poop is bad and we shouldn't talk about it. And I heartily and disagree. And here we are. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Speaking of, Anna's a children's book illustrator. And oh, there's we this have to talk famous about book. <laughs> like yeah. everybody poops. Well, there are many, many books about poop, and uh, there's tons of fart jokes and stuff. Like, it's just a reality of children's books. Not saying it's like my favorite brand of humor or anything, but it is definitely prevalent, <laughs> and you kind of have to be okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Yeah. I think if you aren't, that's that's kind of a you problem, but that's okay. Kendall says, hello all, it's because my house is getting a new septic tank, Alessandra, and I have a yard of dirt. And yard Alessandra says, oh, 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 I was confused for a minute. Y'all, I went camping past weekend and it <gasps> was great. And Ooh, Ryan says, ooh, so love it. I need to go camping this summer. Yeah, camping is probably the best vacation you could take right now because it's like out away from other people and in open fresh air, so... Exactly, yeah. Plus, Perfect. camping. <laughs> it's just fun. There are so many things that go with camping that are just great. Get, and get I, I've never been roasted. camping with you. I've never known you to have camped. To have camped? Well, I guess I haven't, like, legit camped. I think I just take bits and pieces from it. Uh, we used to, like, what? do the... <laughs> well, like, I know that fires are a thing in camping. I enjoy cooking things on a fire. I love a good s'more. I love a good, like sitting around the campfire hanging out we've done that on the beach plenty of times um don't do fires right now though it's too dry <laughs> also let's just all agree no fireworks uh at least where it's unsafe right now uh and then the other parts uh i mean like i've camped i've slept outside like we always did the backyard camping as a kid we did that quite often actually not in the times that you were there though we should have camped in our backyard Honestly, that's when I did the majority of camping as well, was when I was smaller. Yeah. But uh, I did go a couple of times when we were at the Art Institute, because Clark invited me to that's go out camping. That's true. Yeah, I was and also thinking I... there was a time when you got a bunch of camping equipment from my uncle, didn't you? Yeah, he had someone at his Airbnb leave it there, because they only needed it while they were in Oregon, I guess. Wherever they came from, they didn't anticipate camping, so they left it, so... He put a call out saying like i've got this camping gear for free if anybody wants it i was like heck yes because there's also fairy worlds which is semi-camping festival type of thing mm -hmm. and then um people from happy finish went out camping occasionally and we would do it as like a work group activity type of thing so it came in handy for sure absolutely um, but yeah i haven't been camping in a little while let's and... go yeah maybe we I mean, I set up the tent in the backyard last summer, I think. That is <laughs> that so counts, cute. Right? I love that. <laughs> the idea of camping in the backyard, for some reason to me, is like so ridiculously fun. It's kind of like building a pillow fort or something. I'm like, you can do that? Yes! Do it! Ah! And yet, I don't really do it often. Hmm. Also, the only, like, blanket forts, I guess, that we used to make as kids, it was fun because we could fit in them, and they were small enough that it wasn't hard to set up. And there was recently a Craig of the Creek episode that I watched where they did, like, a massive pillow blanket fort in the house, and it made me so happy. <laughs> but it's also sad because I don't know if that's ever possible, like, with the materials that I have to set something like that up. <laughs> Ugh. Without like nailing things into a wall, I guess. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Rin is asking Fairy World, what? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll talk about that in a second. Let me just catch up on chat a little oh, bit. Kindle on... says it's very distracting having giant yellow, uh, or a giant yellow excavator move everything. And Anthony Jackson says, I still think we underestimate kids. Oh, for sure. Um, Kindle goes on to say, my chair kept getting shaken on Monday and Tuesday while they dug. Oh, uh, Rin says, mmm, nom, 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 charred veggies. <laughs> Get a good veggie dog on there, blistered on the outside. Mm. Alessandra said, <laughs> I did s'mores. It was delicious. Yes. Oh, s'mores are so good. And Kendall says, and most of Monday we had no water, so it was coordinated errands for bathroom breaks. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's another thing that, like, when your house is under construction, we had a major construction thing happen when I was younger, and that's the thing they don't really, uh, you know, you don't think about when you're like, I want to redo the bathroom or whatever. It's like, well, get ready for a porta potty for a long Wait. time. Wait, didn't you have two toilets downstairs, though? 
I still use the porta potty. I don't know. <laughs> Why was there a porta potty? That must have been for the construction worker. Probably, but there was. Uh, de there were definitely periods where it wasn't usable. There were just things that they were messing with, like pipes and things. That, oh, you know, I see. I it see. It gets intense. But yeah. Uh, yeah, we had an entire floor put onto the house, so that's that's a lot of stuff <laughs> that it gets connected and torn up and like. Uh, my sister and I literally didn't have a, a room to be in for like, how long was that? Better part of a year? It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Worth it, though. The upstairs is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Now I think back to it and I'm like, I don't even remember feeling like I was inconvenienced by that. I just thought it was really fun. We set up a mattress behind my uh, the couch in the living room. <laughs> and so every night my parents would like, you know, watch a movie or be watching a show or something. And my sister and I are sleeping behind the couch on a mattress. <laughs> I remember listening to, uh, oh, gosh, what was it? Like Note in a Bottle or something like that note in a bottle it was some like romantic comedy i think uh and it's just one of those like very specific memories where i'm like i'm going to sleep and then i was like wait this movie i know what it is and then i don't know was if it I you've got it mail no it was something like it was about a it was called a message in a bottle is that what it's called something like that that's hmm, maybe it's a generic thing though sure um Dark Ever says, ooh, yes, campfire. I love it. And Kendall says, I'm wondering if there's going to be mini fireworks this upcoming Sunday. I um, hope We not. actually had a couple of things here in Oregon, Tualatin, and Portland, I believe, both issued that there's a ban on using fireworks until July 9th, mm -hmm. but not a not a ban on the sale of them, which I'm guessing is some weird, weird law thing that they can't stop people from selling them but they could stop them from well they don't necessarily them. want people to not have fireworks it's just that it's way too dangerous right now to use them like yeah but i mean they don't have people will with. use them people some people don't <sighs> well, care that was the whole re reason the gorge went up it was because somebody threw firecrackers into the forest uh there are dummies and they will set off fireworks on the fourth so it would have just made more sense if it was in their power to say no fireworks until the heat wave goes away and if they could have banned the sale i think that would have been a smart decision but i'm thinking maybe there was a reason that they didn't well that's what i'm saying is like i think the reason that they can't do that is that there would be a law against fireworks then and it's like that's not necessarily their goal they don't have a problem with fireworks they have a problem with the it must be like a temporary fire <laughs> yeah, well that must the be a thing. temporary like, law then yeah uh, and I, I kind of want to post signs around where I live just to remind the neighbors, <laughs> Ashley was like, saying I'll that be earlier. <laughs> Ashley was saying she was going to make flyers and put yeah. them up. And I, I said that was a good idea, even though I don't know if it's really going to change the minds of people I that know. are going to set off fireworks. It might just be nice to see in the neighborhood that other people are like minded and... I don't know. Potentially, it could change someone's mind of like, oh, absolutely. Yeah, there are okay, people maybe. who aren't like paying attention right now. Like, oh, yeah, it was hot. But like, I have AC, so I don't know the repercussions of that on nature. And sure. So, and in addition to that, it's also them. it scares animals as well. Oh, my and gosh. I was telling Ashley, even though I don't know if it would really persuade other people or have an effect, if it makes you feel better to put the signs up, let's do it. Yeah. I kind of wanted to make them look official. Is that wrong? <laughs> like, no. Put an emblem on there. Emblem of what? I don't know, but like it's official. <laughs> I was going to suggest, I don't know what Ashley's idea is, but I was going to mm. say you should draw a picture of what Saturn was like last year, just terrified oh, under a couch. <laughs> just like those eyes, wide eyes from under the black um, part of under the bed. Just yeah. like, I'm terrified. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the thing is like, I really wish that like, I love fireworks. I love the look of them and the booms are really cool to yeah. me, but like, yeah, yeah. The effect on animals, the fire hazard that is caused. I just think let's either like celebrate in a different way, choose a different time of year to do it or exactly have yeah. like big firework shows that are completely safe and like have there's fire definitely a time and a there, place. You know, fire squad. <laughs> That Fire phrase squad. could not be more apt than in this situation. A time and a place. I think it should be a different time of year when it's not summer and hot. Yeah, really. It should be in springtime when it's like, if there is a fire, it will be put out by rain. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, a 
place, like down at the waterfront, like they could set uh, fireworks off from the river on one of those barges. Exactly. And I think that's way less risky. And it's in the city where generally things are louder and there's more hustle and bustle. So it's not in your suburbs where pets aren't used to noise like that all the time. Absolutely. And uh, that also having a place that's centrally located where people do fireworks, even if it's like, I mean, I would love it if it was just a show, but if people had sparklers at the riverfront or whatever, then at least the if there was a problem, then people would know where to like, it, there would be firefighters there already or whatever. Like it would already be prepared for rather than just, oh, every single person has the ability to start a fire across the state. Uh oh. <laughs> Like, we can only react at that point instead of preventative measures and making sure to have the ability to put out any fires that start immediately. Anyways, yeah, I don't, I don't like the thing is, I know there are people who are always going to be like, but celebration. And it's like, I don't want to squanch your celebration at all. I just want everybody to also not have their homes burned down or let's just not nature. celebrate with fire i <laughs> guess <laughs> is that so much to ask we all remember last year right we had to <sighs> stay inside for so much smoke <laughs> i ordered an air purifier it's coming so yeah i'm glad you did that yeah it's gonna happen anyway but yeah i i really wish we didn't have to expect fire season every summer now Anyways, Alessandra says a frog things. came to our tent on our last day. It was small and cute. Cute. Oh. And Ren was asking frog. about fairy worlds, and it's um, a festival in the summertime. It didn't happen last year, and it's not happening this year because of coronavirus. But it's like a three-day, three-day festival where you could go out in the forest and camp. And they also have like a platform for bands to go and perform. So it's kind of like a music festival, but also like a craft thing as well. Cause they've got um, like a promenade of booths where people sell their wares. And a lot of people dress up in like fairy attire or medieval garb. There was one year that uh, from the show Vikings that as far as I know, uh, their theme song is composed by a band called Wardruna, Ooh. I believe it's called, and they were performing at Fairy Worlds one year, so a lot of people came dressed up as Vikings, which awesome. was fascinating. And it also rained that summer, so it was very muddy. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I don't know, it kind of had the vibes of, you know, in Lord of the Rings when they go to the Prancing Pony and it's like pouring down rain and Absolutely. there's like muddy sloshiness and big boots and capes with like mud crusted onto it. It had those vibes. It's pretty cool. It. But uh, the other times I've gone, it's always been summer weather, which is also awesome because... Then you get the magic fairy cosplayers, and it's like, exactly, oh, you yeah. sparkle in the sun. Oh, and like mermaids and like deep Oh, yeah, there's things. mermaids. So cool. people. Yeah. And there's this um, person that comes every time that's dressed up in a Totoro outfit that's like seven feet tall. It's really cool. Duh. <laughs> Gotta have it. <laughs> uh, Ryan says, oh, man, I loved blanket forts. Also, umbrella forts. Ooh. Ooh. Umbrella you had that forts. many umbrellas? <laughs> How many umbrellas you got? It's <laughs> interesting. That sounds fun though. It's the idea of coverage, but like really simply and easily. But then all the bad luck you accrue. Is it worth it? Right, exactly. Uh, Alessandra says about camping so loud though, there was so many birds too and ducks and y'all at night. One of them was snoring. <laughs> Wait, a snoring duck? Okay, instead of the prancing pony, we've got the snoring duck. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. Um, Kendall says, blanket forts sound amazing. And Ren says, with string lights. Ooh, oh, making so the beautiful. ambience in the blanket fort next level. Um, <laughs> Alessandra says, I posted a picture of a fish and frog on Discord. Oh, and Kendall yeah. says, I think the hard part is can't really change the day of the US's B day unless you've got a time machine we don't know about. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've been hiding the time machine for a while. I mean, that's definitely true, but there's holidays that are celebrated in the week, but they're observed at a different date. So there's that. Well, I think 
safety should uh, be the most important factor no matter what, but uh, that is very much my opinion. <laughs> I think yeah. if you have the opposite opinion, you're wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> I guess you can hold that opinion as well. Um, let's check out this fish, though. Oh, oh my it's gosh. like not a real fish. <laughs> yeah, I love him, though. He's got a little fishing hat. Does he keep his lures up there? <laughs> I love it. And it is he like fishing himself? Glasses. Yeah, I think he's got a fishing rod. Oh. Cannibal. <laughs> Can we spot the frog? Okay, first one to spot it wins. Is it a separate picture ah, of a frog? I see it. Oh. Do you see my screen? Uh, yeah, but it's really small, so I can't really make it out. Well, there's a, a frog right here, and it's actually bigger than I was expecting. And it just decided to be, like, right on the stake for your tent. <laughs> like, oh, hey, this is where I live now. <laughs> I believe that is a toad, says Laura. Look at that toad settling in. <laughs> That's the good stuff. <laughs> Foot? Toe. <laughs> I get you, Rin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, that is our Discord, by the way. If you want to join that, there is a link in the description. Uh, and we share all sorts of goofy stuff there. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Oh man. It makes me want to go camping. Alessandra, take me with you next time. I want to go to there. Okay. Back to sketching. Uh, I'm just making, like, little adjustments here and there. One of the bigger ones is the uh, torso of this far left character. I'm going to call them Joe. Uh, <laughs> and so I wanted to just shorten that up a little bit to stay a little bit in the same area of uh, proportions. Not that everybody has, like, same body type or whatever, but just keeping it in the same realm. I suppose. Uh, what do you think of their hair, Anthony? Should I change any of, of them up? Hmm. No, I think the dynamics work really well. I like the headband on the front, which because yeah. they're like, it looks more streamlined that way. Yeah. The ponytail of the witch in the middle uh, really adds to like the frantic nat nature of like, hey, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and just like, um, propelling like the sense of motion that secondary action of the hair yeah and i really like the blobby short hair on the last one blobby short uh, Aww, no cute. i love all of them <laughs> okay thank you <laughs> that's one way to answer a question i suppose <laughs> they're all perfect. working you're doing great sweetie yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rin says, nice, thank you for the info, Anthony. It sounds lovely. Ooh, I know Wardruna. Yeah, that band. Wardruna! Sounds Not like so over a it. band that Sam Peterson would enjoy. We were talking I, about. No, before. I was, uh, yeah, I <laughs> caught up on the second stream earlier today, and when he was talking about his the music that he listens to, I thought of Wardruna almost immediately. Like, <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, we should like tell him. That. Kendall says, aw, kitty, I need to check on Zoro. He got a shot yesterday and wasn't himself today Aww. due to the side effects. BRB. Babe, take care Alessandra of Alessandra says, and a picture of our tent and view of the campsite if you want to check it out on Discord. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now it's just a camping Discord. <laughs> Rin says, ooh, check out best wishes bird. for your fur furling, Kendall. Ooh, furling. Ooh. Wait, who's this from? Is that this Joe's? This is Joe's. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can see almost nothing back there. That's so cool. Okay, so Those imagine. windows are so graphic. They are. Ooh, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> uh, imagine, though, a giant, like. Gorilla. Foot. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, a giant foot coming down in the, the background back here where it's all just like a slight variation in. Do you value. remember the mist? Uh, like, ah! Terrifying. I want the monsters to be cooler. <laughs> Spooky such a sad bug movie. this morning. <laughs> Kendall. Ooh. Rin oh, says a gosh. snoring duck sounds ridiculously adorable. Oh my goodness! And Kendall says he's asleep, but I, I think he's starting to feel a bit better. Why is why is it already the end of June? So much to do, and we have Randall Casey in the chat saying, "Hey everyone." Hey Randall. We're checking out some uh, camping photos. Look at this beautiful one on the water. There's this tree overhanging it so heavily. <gasps> Makes me happy. 
Randall was in Ryan's stream earlier, and we bonded over our love of Lizzo. Lizzo! Blame it on my juice, baby. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Randall. Welcome to the stream. Lizzo, good. <laughs> Lizzo, good. Uh, <laughs> Ibrahim, I think. Uh, if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, let me know. Ibrahim in the chat saying hi, all. Hello! Welcome to the stream. And Randall asks, wait, the movie? <laughs> yeah, the movie, The Mist. And then oh. I saw it in theater together. <laughs> Quite we're the... scarred by it in the theater. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone applauded though when that mm. woman died. That's what you <laughs> always It was a bonding remember. experience. <laughs> Never have I wanted I a felt friend so like you. <laughs> to a room full of strangers. I know, yeah, it was great energy in that theater. There was a great um, energy, but I still left depressed. So. Oh, yeah, very sad movie. <laughs> depressing. Uh, um, Dark Hour says, Ooh, I'm definitely going to Photoshop this. Photoshop what? <gasps> the fog image, I think. Photo oh, you're gonna put a, a foot in there? Or a giant gorilla? Whichever is fine, I guess. <laughs> Anthony likes gorillas, so. That's uh, one of D.Va's voice lines is, ooh, a giant gorilla when Winston. Yeah. I think it might be like a Halloween voice line or something. Ooh, a giant gorilla. Maybe, I don't know. Really, everybody should be wearing goggles if they're flying on a, a broomstick, don't you think? Sounds like uh, I'm going to be on hold for work, so... Hey! Ooh, lucky me. <laughs> I don't know for how long I'm trying to get her name. Forever! Right now. <laughs> but I could read more chat. Thank you. Uh, so Randall says, yeah, that ending wasn't written in the book so wild. Whoa, how did it end in the book? Uh oh. They all lived happily ever I don't after. I not experience any more of that world. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was all a dream. <laughs> Everyone's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great world. Yay. Ugh. Oh, I started uh, watching, or I guess listening to, uh, very, very briefly. I started listening to it, and then uh, James hopped on Overwatch, and I was like, well, I'm not going to listen if it's in the background of, you know, your chat with the team. And so uh, it was, I'm thinking of Ending Things, which is the movie that's based on a book that I just read of the same title. So far, it's literally just quoting the book, so. But I'll tell y'all how it goes. I guess, if you care. I don't know. Well, I love Hair in the Wind. This is just fun. Bunch of big swooping gestures. How long could her hair go? Forever! No, I'm actually gonna shorten it a little bit, probably. There we go. Okay, so one thing that I wasn't happy with in the sketch of this, the initial like really rough sketch, was uh, this is the the like book falling out of her book bag, and I want it to be like really teetering, where it feels like oh golly, it might come out. So that might take a little bit to fully get across. But I love the positioning of having this like hanging off of her knee in such a precarious way. Oh, I should probably tilt it a bit more, where it's like really dragging with the wind, like that. So now I'm co totally off script. It's always the fun part, right? There's the little flap of the book bag. And then the book hanging out. Should it just be free falling? I don't know. We'll come to back. Sorry, to it, you know? I was reading a message. Oh really? I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Clickety clack clack, and it's got smack back. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. <laughs> no, you're you're totally fine. Clack away. I'm done clacking clack for the time being. Okay, cool. So what do you think uh, about a book falling out of this bag right down here? Do you see? Why does that sound so familiar? Did you do that on the train heist piece? There were papers falling. 
Oh, uh, right. Her bag. She yeah, a book, a book falling out, and is that where the paper would be like ripped from? Like, how fast are they going up there? Oh, they going real fast. Sure. Maybe she was like reading out her essay to her friend, and then it just like flew out of her hands, and now she's like, "Ah, oh, I could get, I could get it." And then her bag is like almost falling off, and her books are coming out of it because, of course, nothing is like properly stored away. Sure. Um, this is making me think. Maybe I don't know how tied you are to the idea of the cat reaching for the bell, but maybe there's something that belongs to the cat that's also falling out of the bag, and the cat's like, "Oh, my thing!" Like a ball of yarn, and it's like the string of it's going away. I don't know. I wonder. I wonder as well. That's a good idea. I like the concept of it. I'm just trying to like compose it in my mind. Yeah. Uh, I guess go with the bell for the first iteration because that would be an easier thing and if that reads well enough then stay with that it could be too much information visual too information that's information. unneeded um, Kendall says or would you cast a little spell to keep bugs from hitting your face while flying on your broom absolutely if spells were freely given the concept we kind of talked about last time which kendall is already writing a book about is uh, that if you use magic it takes away a certain amount of like your life force or your time on earth alive <laughs> shortens your lifespan there we go uh so it's like oh i i cast a spell to save a baby from a train crash and then like two years of my life are just gone so if magic were like that, then the spell to keep bugs off your face would be a real humdinger. <laughs> like, is it worth it <laughs> to improve the, pro you know, like the quality of life to never have bugs hit your face? That's pretty good. But also how much would it cost? Yeah, well, I don't like that. So <laughs> let's just say <laughs> magic is given freely. Oh, of course, of course. We can always have free magic. <laughs> um, Anthony Jackson says, is everyone beating the heat, drinking water, lemonade, slushies, eating ice cream, ice pops, swimming, etc.? I love I've done all a those couple ideas. of those. Uh, yeah, That's I made I ice done. cream during the, one of the hottest days. <laughs> and I'll tell you Did what. Did you really? <laughs> it, it actually, it worked pretty well, but um, one of the biggest things that really got to us during the heat was the refrigerator is not good. And so almost everything we have has gone bad. <laughs> like, yeah, bad. I ran bad. into that Ugh. incident. <laughs> really? Did it happen to you? It wasn't. Yeah. Not in the fridge, I don't think. Mm -hmm. It was, um, well, it's gross. <laughs> it was a watermelon that rotted in our cabinet and oh. juiced out on other stuff. And yeah. I just spent last night cleaning like 10 minutes of. It was so Tasty. gross. Yeah. Uh, I'm so sorry. Why watermelon? You were supposed to be my friend. We had a sack of potatoes and a bad smell in our kitchen for a little bit, and we were like, something must have fallen in like a crack, and it's like rotting right now because it smells bad. And so we we're trying to find it, and James finally picked up the bag of potatoes, and at the bottom was a juicy. Goodness nasty. gracious, one of the worst smells, I feel like. That happens to you and me in our apartment. Yeah, I think we had when. kept like some potatoes in this tin and forgot about them. And I was like, what is that? And I finally found it. And I was like, I'm never eating potatoes again. I'm so horrified and disgusted. It's weird how bad they go. It's like you would expect it to be meat or something because it's like nasty. But. So uh bad. It, yeah, just a warning. Keep your potatoes good. <laughs> yeah, <keep laughs> or throw them, them good. before they get real bad. When they go bad, they go oh, bad. They go so bad. But anyways, yeah, that's um, so, yeah, a learning I've... experience for all involved. <laughs> Back to Anthony Jackson's list. I've had, I've drank water, lemonade, haven't had a slushy. I had ice cream. I had a, not an ice pop, but a frozen York peppermint patty that Sammy gave me. So yeah. that was delicious. Thank you, Sammy. And no swimming. I'm not a big swimmer, actually. Mm -hmm. I keep seeing the pool every time I go outside because we can see it from basically like where we leave our apartment. And man, it looks good. All that water is just this cerulean blue. Oh, I want to go to there. 
But uh, yeah, making an actual point of going and swimming, it takes a lot of effort in most days, I feel like. Ugh, can't. No effort. I just feel like I'm susceptible to drowning. Susceptible to drowning, wow. Uh, I don't float all that well, yeah. and my lung capacity isn't great, and my muscles get fatigued fairly easily. So all of that combined is like, mm, don't let Anthony go on the water. <laughs> I will save you. It's okay. I'm a strong swimmer. I'll get you out. Yeah, I, I don't doubt it for you, but... Yeah, but I'm just saying I'll, I'll save you. if you. Like that one time it, we went you. to the eye, yeah. that river, um, oh. and everybody was swimming up that little channel. Yeah. Like, I tried, and I... I was having such a hard time keeping up and I was like clinging to rocks and it was bad. I understand. Didn't like it. It's yeah, if you don't feel like you're safe then yeah, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> uh I just always like I, I totally agree with what you're saying. Stay away from water if you want to, like no problem. But also oh, swimming um, like deep wise. Like I'll still go in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool off. Oh man, my sister uh has this really cool above ground like just one of the little inflatable pools but it has a seat in it so you could just like chill out in the water and like i don't know they're also like drink holders so you could just like sip on something it's it looks amazing of course the kids were in it and going wah, 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 you know and like, splashing <laughs> everywhere so kid noises yeah <laughs> you, you know kid noises oh that's so good <laughs> Uh, yeah, my uh, niece just turned one, one years old. She's a pandemic baby and she got born and now she won. She's amazing. Oh my gosh. She stuffed this banana cupcake in her face and it was just the best. Like I gotta send you some of the pictures cause seriously it just, she was like, well, Aaron was saying uh, she's never had this much sugar in her life. <laughs> You could kind of tell she was like hesitant at first, and she like, Aaron put some frosting on her finger and was like, "Oh, it's really good." And then uh, it was just like some of that cream cheese frosting, and um, she was like, "Ah!" Oh. And then she took the whole thing and just pop, the whole top of it yeah. in her face. And she <laughs> this just is kind good. Of, like, All of it, please. Kept it in her mouth for like two minutes, like, "Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so good." We were all very impressed. <laughs> like, dang get that cupcake <laughs> anyways it was great randall says about the mist no nah, he just drove off into the mist the last few minutes wasn't a part of it oh my gosh that would have been mm. a better ending yeah it definitely did brain. have <laughs> a different feel of like well that sucks <laughs> everything sucks wow okay wow unnecessary um kendall says i'd just make a spell up to keep uh to keep us invisible to muggles and fly without getting hit by things birds bugs planes birds bugs battlestar galactica mm -hmm. right. <laughs> dark hour says oh i need to read and see that still on the color book ah uh, well, yes gonna, you're reading I'm it gonna, i want to borrow that from you anna the color book okay Okay. okay, next time we okay. see each other. Absolutely. Okay. Kindle says, although it does not protect you from wind and rain clouds, clackety clack can has got smack back. Quote unquote. <laughs> or the cat could be trying to get a moth or a Ooh. bird. Oh, or, oh, it's like trying to get on, uh, like jump to the owls or something. And the owls looking at it like, don't try this. <laughs> I love it. All uh, right. Kendall says, the question follow-up that turned it into a novel idea is, what happens if you kill someone with that life force? Do you gain it? And thus a villain was born in my head. Ooh, I like it. They're just cultivating like, I have all the magic. That reminds me of a Justin Timberlake movie where it was like, time on earth and you could pay people with it. Do you remember that? No. Like everybody had on their watch like how much time they had on alive. And so you oh, could like trade death it. Note. No, what? Death Note doesn't have like a time ex Oh wait, wait. Does it? Yeah. Wait, does it? It's not like a watch, but it's like an ability he has to see how much time someone has left. Okay. Yeah, so um yeah, kind of like that, I guess. And then you could also trade it with people. So it's like some mobsters or whatever have like a bunch of years of life because they've accrued a bunch. And then they it's basically like money equals life. 
if that was the concept <laughs> in a in a nutshell. Hmm. Interesting. Rin says, my hubby wanted me to share a photo of his camp his favorite camping location down here. Posted the photo in the Discord. Ooh yeah. Alright, let's check it out. Rin goes on to say, you rotting watermelon mess, I do not envy. No, this is absolutely beautiful, Rin. Oh my gosh. Favorite place to camp down in San Antonio, Texas. Lost Maples. Ooh. I love that overlapping. The sky, the hill, the forest line, the water, the foreground. Oh, it's like it's zigzag. Can you jump off that rock? Is that allowed? Is it too shallow? Ooh, it looks so good. It reminds me a little bit of Lord of the Rings, this like edge of the water going to the uh, forest immediately. Oh, just makes me happy. Pretty cool. <gasps> okay, let's go there. <laughs> In the fall, apparently. It's amazing. So Dark Hour says, are you all me? I have a mysterious smell in my fridge, too. <laughs> go check it out. <laughs> it's really much more worth it uh, to get it as early as possible. It makes your quality of life better. Trust me. Anthony Jackson says, in this universe where magic drains your life force, I see someone using forbidden magic to stay alive forever. Ooh. And Kendall says, have frozen berries. That's a good alt for ice cream, too. I agree. Yeah, frozen berries are amazing. Uh, also, I'm seeing monkey, 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 ba, ba, ba. Okay, let's Is it go. time? It's yeah, two time. minutes past. It is the time. Make yourself a dime. All right. Uh, monkey paws is a hand stretch that we like to do together. So over the clickety clacking, I'm going to do this with you. And I'm going to just talk you through it. Uh... <laughs> Oh, In Time is the movie. If anybody wants to watch Justin Timberlake fight for his life, I guess. I think. I don't know if I've ever seen this movie. I just remember the concept. Anyways, uh, so hand stretches. We start with our hand or arms straight out in front of ourselves, our palms away and fingers to the sky. And then we curl our fingers into what we call a monkey paw. And then we go, ooh, ooh, ooh ah, ah. ah. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> And then the second pose is we put our fingers to the ground, palms towards ourselves, and then curl our fingers in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Great job. And then third pose, we flip our palms out and then fingers down and curl our fingers in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Great job. And fourth and final pose, we put our fingers to the sky, palms towards ourselves, and curl our fingers in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Then we just repeat these poses, holding for about a second each, so that we get a nice stretch in our wrists and our arms. I definitely feel it today. I need to be doing this more. I haven't for the last few days. And uh, yeah, this is something that is one hand stretch among many, many, many. So if you want to find other hand stretches, you could Google them. Uh, I recommend doing this as often as you can remember, honestly. Uh, and also close your eyes to give yourselves an eye break from the screen for like 20 seconds at least, they recommend. Uh, I know that yesterday, especially, I noticed when I looked outside, everything was very blurry, and it's because I've been looking so intensely at screens lately, so... I know, yeah. Our eyes are wrecked. Yeah. Give yourselves rest in every single way you possibly can. Your wrists, your eyes, your sitting bodies. We should get up and dance a little bit every, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, yeah, just remember to take care of yourselves in whatever way you f see fit. Also drinking water is a great thing. Oh, and also saving. I haven't saved this yet. Hey, let me save. Beep boop, bop, bop, bop. I'm gonna call this Witches 3. Actually, it's Witches, because I can't type. Uh, there you go, boom. The whole save a copy thing is kind of bug bugging me. Have you run into that yet? What is it? Uh, Photoshop updated and there's an option to save a copy now. Whoa. What? I must have missed it when it was up on your screen. Hasn't there always been like a save as version? There's save as, but this is different. I'll talk to you about it later. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's just that it, it, I save in a different way now. <laughs> That's all I have to do. I save in a different way. Yes. Okay. By the way, Ryan says, Anthony is so beautiful. Glow up. Wow. Wow. Thank you. My artistic skills know no bounds. I feel like the um, ear muff part looks like just giant ears because it's not colored in black. 
we have talked about this. And I said, yeah, I should fill it in, but I didn't. And I'm going to say it every single time. Sounds good. My muse can talk back. I understand. <laughs> okay, so when you're done with your hand stretches, just gently shake out your hands to loosen them back up. And then we do a few shoulder rolls to loosen that up. And neck stretches. Uh, put your ears as high as you can on each side, even if they're giant ears that are actually headphones. It's fine. Whatever your ear shape is, we love you just the same. Anthony. Yeah, yeah, great. <laughs> How dare you. Uh, and then looking to the side as far as is comfortable for your neck. Woo. <gasps> oh. What's over there? Land ho! A dying plant over there. A dying plant <laughs> over here. Why are your plants dying? You know, also, you got me. Dance around a little. I need to, like, squat or something. My uh, legs are dying. <sighs> I've actually felt it the last few days. Whenever I get up, I'm like... I've been sitting too long. <laughs> and so I highly recommend just get up and do something. Doesn't matter what it is. It's better than sitting for like 10 hours straight. Uh, and I'm going to drink some water. Anthony, you going to drink some water? I uh, had some water while you were saving. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, one thing that I actually learned from Sam recently and wanted to pass along to everyone was the view version of flipping your canvas. So he said, view, flip horizontal. Awesome. Okay, so now we can see the flipped version of our art without actually having flipped it. It's just kind of a preview and it doesn't do anything to alter the document. Whoops. There we go. Blech. 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 Okay, so I think this is a little too skewed. I'm going to round that out a little bit. Oh, While you're doing okay. that, I'll catch up on chat a little bit. Uh, Rin says, supposedly, an open box of baking soda can help remove funky smells from pantries and fridges. Just have to refresh it every so often. I think it's something like 30 days. That's what I've heard. Uh -huh. But yeah, uh, that also is a good thing. It doesn't get rid of the source of the smell, though. <laughs> If you put it next to rotting potatoes, it'll still be bad. Maybe do it after removing the rotting potatoes to get rid of the lingering mm, smell. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, definitely go for the, in this case, root cause of the problem. <laughs> exactly. Um, Kendall says, put some baking soda in your fridges, friends. It does help a lot. And Dark Hero says, also recommend making drinks and then freezing them so you could have them later in full concentration. Example given, iced coffee with coffee ice cubes. Wow. I like that. That is a good idea. Coffee cubes. No diluting here. <laughs> I would never want to dilute my drinks. <laughs> Joe goes on to say, also, if people have more tips for keeping cool, please feel free to post them in our Discord anytime. It reminds me of the nature documentary when they talk about kangaroos and how they dig little holes and lick their forearms. Lick their forearms! Yeah, should we be doing so, that? Yeah, we should be licking our forearms and <laughs> burrowing in dirt. Yes! Oh my gosh, Kendall's dirt, it comes back. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, thing that we've been doing is uh, leaving... We, we, froze a jug of water and then put it in front of the fan and it, it works to kind of make the air colder that the fan is blowing because at a certain heat when the fan blows air it's just blowing hot air in your face <laughs> it does not necessarily feel good so uh it's better than not having any air motion though i have to say fans are essential um but yeah we had to figure out a few creative ways of getting around the heat when not having ac Dark Hours says, also, can recommend freezing mango and then blending it into mango sorbet. Yum, 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 yum. yum Kendall yum, says, yum, yum. yes, frozen fruit is always tasty. Absolutely. Uh, we've been making, uh, what do you call it? Uh, sourdough pancakes with the discard from my sourdough starter and uh, using frozen fruit, berries usually in it is delicious, I have to say. 
At some point, I'm going to learn how to make jam. That's what I Yeah, mean. I'm into this idea. <laughs> Your mom could teach both of us. Yeah, I'm into this idea. I honestly, <laughs> I want to... No, not at all. Because um, I went, if she gave us like the tiniest sample size of that jam, I was like, ah, oh, that was kind of rude. Not rude, <laughs> honestly. It's just like, what a tease. I made like two sandwiches out of it. I, know. Oh my I didn't even know jars came in such a small size. It's perfect size for my sourdough starter. I was like, hot dang, I'm going to use this. <laughs> oh, for your starter? Like yeah. the actual starter? Yeah, the actual starter doesn't take up much room. So I was like, hey. Uh, well, I, I guess I shrank it from the original uh, recipe because I don't need that much. But um, yeah, I agree that like we need more jam in our lives. Yeah, and if we figured out how to do it, we, we wouldn't need often. to pay my mom. So <laughs> Pay your mom. <laughs> the exorbitant fees that she's... I know. Charging for her that one little jam. jar set me back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's like a whole list of things that we should learn from your parents, like I know. pesto and jam and how to play guitar, how to play piano. No, I don't really care about those. I want to eat things. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wrong. The um, orange orange rolls. rolls, yeah, yeah, orange yeah. Rolls. Those are a family recipe, you know, Just handed down through the generations. I know, and your dad's so sour about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's... Okay, so here's a little backstory. My mom's family handed down the orange roll recipe through the generations. My dad is an avid baker who has basically just learned everything he has, like, self-taught, basically. I mean, he's got a few recipes from his family, but not all of them baking, like, Chex Mix. <laughs> Which you can also find on the back of the box. <laughs> I love that. Mezle tout aus. But then, uh, you know, my mom comes in with this old recipe and is like, hey, let's make this instead of whatever. And he's like, no, 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 no. In the so most charming way possible. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the. Uh, the the thing is we don't have the orange rolls very often but we also have delicious baked goods very often from dad so i'm just saying let's bake everything <laughs> let's make all the things he's a very uh amazing amazing cinnamon roll baker so the cinnamon rolls are like oh i'm gonna make cinnamon rolls and then mom's like oh i should make orange rolls and then they're like should we have two kinds of rolls it's the answer should be yes <laughs> But almost always it comes down to cinnamon rolls. <laughs> because there can only be one in the kitchen at a time. And they're both vying for that spot. Exactly. No, it's uh, it's it's amazing to have any baked goods at any time. I love it very, very much. Maybe the trick is luring your dad out of the house somehow. So that Stephanie could just have some room to work. <laughs> well, she's not the one who needs room. It's him. <laughs> if he wants to bake something, he's like, everybody get out of the kitchen. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think that... Exactly. No, that's what I'm saying. Because he wants to cinnamon rolls. She needs the room to work. Because he'll be like, no, I've got to use this space for my stuff. <laughs> so we have to remove him from the equation. So that oh it equals gosh, good sounds... orange rolls for us. Good, good orange rolls. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> yes. Uh, remove him from the equation. Also, my aunt makes amazing orange rolls. Same recipe. So we could just be like, hey, auntie, come over. Uma Thurman <laughs> could help us with this task. Oh my gosh, Anthony, how dare <laughs> you? I will get you. Uma Thurman could help you with that test. <laughs> yeah, except it's not called that. Oh they gosh. weren't all named Bill. She killed other people. Yeah, but the movie is called. Kill Anna's dad. No, my gosh. You Subtitled, take it eat back. orange roll. <laughs> I am going to get you actually now. Uh, Dark Hour says, yes, everyone, please have a little dance party today for your brain goo. Mm. It's good. Take it from me, a person in solo lockdown. Dancing saves lives. Oh my gosh, it does. I'm so sorry you're in solo lockdown right now. It's not fun. Bindle <sighs> says, the new save update is apparently because Mac changed their system, so it broke the way they could save. I, I haven't it. heard of it. I haven't been using Photoshop on my Mac, so I haven't experienced it. I don't have a Mac. It's just on everything. It's on everything. Maybe I haven't updated. Possibly. Ooh. Rin says, oh, hey, those aren't ears. Well, then, elephant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. guys. <laughs> 
Okay, I'll... No, I'm not going to color them in. Out of spite, I'll never <laughs> color them in. That's fine. Out of spite, I'll always remind you. Kendall That's says, fun. if you updated Photoshop, it now says save a copy if you want to change it to something other than Photoshop. At least that's what I think it looks like now. And Rin says, the heat dome hath wilted the plants. Mm. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Also, it's a bonsai, is that right? Or a... What's the other small little tree? Does it start with a G? What? Ginseng. What? Ginseng. I think it's a ginseng, actually. But yeah, a lot of its leaves just shriveled right up and died. I'm like, no, I don't want to live. <laughs> Sammy gave it to me for my birthday on the 11th and... We had a good run, I guess. Oh, that's, yeah, that could just be it being a new plant then. I mean, they have a time where they're stressed out in a new environment, so it could just be that. Maybe. I bet the 114 degrees didn't help. Uh, probably not, but also plants are... It's like, keep moist. I was using a little spritzer and I was like trying to like keep it moist and not water it to yeah. get the soil soggy, but I think it was just evaporating. So it's like, why are you starving me? <laughs> I guess I have no room to like recommend anything for it because you kept yours alive that. for so long. Yeah, I but I just... don't know if it died from overwatering. That's the thing. Like that's all uh, I can really imagine. But yeah, I guess that also scared me because you're like it's better to underwater. So I was like, I'm sorry, you're withering. I can't water you. Anna said not to. <laughs> well, it's uh, what you said where it's like multiple leaves came off at once. That's what I incur like I encountered with mine where it was like suddenly all these leaves ca came off and it would do it one branch at a time. It wasn't like leaves from all over. It was just yeah, like Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's mine right now too. But uh, I haven't been watering it a bunch, so I don't know if it was overwatering. Maybe it was underwatering. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Oh god. <laughs> I'll go drown it real quick. <laughs> that's the um, thing is like I need a ginseng expert to tell me what went wrong? <laughs> oh, for your captions for a second, it just said, You Anna. You Anna. It's weird. Captions you. are weird. Yeah. Ryan asks, What are the weight restrictions on a said broom? On a said broom? Oh, uh, like two? Two people? <laughs> Uh, I think, yes, two people, and so it's just slightly over its weight-bearing thing. Capacity. Capacity, yeah. yeah thanks for words. I got you. Uh, I slightly displaced the bar around my captions, and so I was trying to zhuzh it into place while saying that, and there you go. Explanation. Rin says, ah, oh, this is looking great thus far. Oh, and yeah. Dark Hour says to Ryan... There are no restrictions. This is magic. <laughs> Rin agrees. Exactly. And Dark Hour says, dirt is life. And Kendall <laughs> says, quote, I've got a jar of dirt, Captain Jack Sparrow. And Dark Hour says, yes, jam. I'm into this idea. And Muhammad in the chat <laughs> saying, hello, I like it. And Kendall says, oh, I had to start over my sourdough starter. Aww, and why? I was going to say, it got mold in it due to all the weather changes. And I had to discard it all. Who do we complain to? I did think to? about your sourdough starter during the heat wave, Anna. Did that cupboard have low enough temperature to keep it i kept it in the fridge uh it was already in the fridge because i do that throughout the week where like i don't feed it every day so if you aren't feeding it every day you put it in the fridge for a week and then it treats it like a day because it slows down the process right my hair up, okay. by the way. and then um i just fed it last night and it had what they call a hooch on the top <laughs> <laughs> which is when it's over fermented a little bit it uh, gets a liquid on the top of it and some people mix it in and some people pour it off uh, I decided to pour off a little bit and mix it <laughs> middle of the road baby and yeah. Uh, yeah I fed it and it's looking completely fine now but um, we will see there was no mold though so that was good I also had it in the back of the fridge towards the cooling element so it was probably in the best situation it could be in other than like the freezer which would maybe kill it i don't know kendall says at least i'm not baking much right now it's been too hot to even think about yeah. using an oven we ran out and... of bread because i didn't get to make my usual loaf because if i had baked on the day that it was 113 or whatever i would have died would have been 130 ah yeah no, we usually, I think the hottest it got in here was up to like 95. So I think James did a really good job of keeping the actual apartment cool. Uh, 
Beth got back to him. He's gonna clickety clack now. It was Shay actually. So. Oh my gosh! Close Say hi call. to Shay for me. Hi oh. Shay. Hello. Says hi Shay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we've got our three characters pretty much sketched out, and I kind of want to add some color. So what I'm going to do is. Okay, I'm imagining a few things. Sam Peterson actually uh, inspired me a bit to play with more of the lighting conditions that we can we can play with. <laughs> we have the ability. So I was kind of thinking of maybe doing a few really loose color comps to figure out what kind of coloring situation we want. We haven't done that in a while, so let's do it. She says, aw, hi. Aw, hi. Back. <laughs> uh, Dark Hour says, I think this is your sign to get into mocktails, Kindle. Oh, ho, and Kindle ho. says, I do like mocktails. I can also drink some regular stuff. I just can't get more than one drink in before I turn all red and sick. The joys of getting the Asian flush jeans. <laughs> yeah, Gary has that as well. Just instantly bright red. Aww, so funny. So cute. I think there was like a, a workaround to that, like taking a peptid or something a i don't peptid. know if that was right there was some sort of over-the-counter thing that he could take and it like reduced the flush oh interesting hmm. i guess yeah um, it would be like capillaries or something so if you just had less blood flow to the capillaries then that makes oh, sense yeah Get rid of some of your blood. Get rid of your blood. It's no good for you. Targaryen says, Vampire see, side. the reason I say mocktails is because then you could drink them anytime. Especially if you make ice cubes out of the mocktail. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's all coming together. Oh. Yeah. Kendall says, I drink some, but they do take a lot of effort to make. I opt to drink just kombucha. It's got an option similar to cider. It's got an option similar to cider. Opsimsai. Hmm. Opsimsai. Opsimsai. That's what I say. Okay, so I am uh, just going to color these in. Anthony, shout out any colors you think would look cool. Do we know what time of day this is? Are they on their way to school? They're late for school? Or are they on their way to a, an event? What's the little story? All of it. So I'm going to do oh. multiple different color comps. So I think we could play around with those different ideas where it's like, oh, yeah, this one's late at night and this one's in the morning and this one's blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, at a foggy evening. Oh, we've got to do a foggy version. Oh, yeah. A foggy one. So we think in like grays and blues. And... Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think we are. And I'm just going to do like a few colors. It's not going to be like color the whole thing in complete detail. Uh, all I'm going to do is just like throw some around and figure out what kind of mood more so we're going to go for. Uh, if you didn't catch the the stream with uh, Sam, what he did basically was like throw around a few colors very organically just because he was like, I'm thinking this color, I'm thinking that color, uh, and then didn't really pay attention to like where on the clothing it had to go at first. So it wasn't like color in the jeans, this color, jeans, as if you would ever paint jeans. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, that's the, the kind of idea I'm going for is just a loosey goosey. We're going to figure it out kind of thing. Now, if you're foggy, that's basically like you're up in the clouds, right? So I'm just going to do something to like... the top to the top. Oh, is that a thing? I think it's a no doubt song to the top. Yeah. I don't remember that. She repeats it again and again. It's not like the main part of the song, but there's one part where she does it. Uh -huh. I think it's from one of the very early albums, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I can't remember. It's like boggling my mind now. Is it that, the one where she's see. tied to the tracks in the music video? Oh, yeah, I think that's it. I vaguely remember it then. What is it? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I keep it's on not going. my brain well confuse <laughs> <laughs> yeah not that early I don't think I don't think it was that album the Beacon Street collection yeah no uh, anyways it, it's fine don't have to think about it <laughs> <laughs> 
You don't have to, Hannah. You don't have Kindle to. Kindle says, but I do like mimosa. And oh, Dark Hour says, ooh, I learned something about kombucha the other day. Let me find it. Sip, sip. Kendall says, I'm a fruity drinker. And Dark Hour says, yes, foggy one with secret hidden froggy. Ah, froggy. Gotta have the frogs. Kendall says, exploring character design with Sam Peterson, part one of two. And put a link in the chat and part two of two also in the chat. If you guys are curious about checking those out. And if you're watching in replay land, if you join the discord and go to stream schedules, you'll also find links to both of those. Yeah, they were done on uh, June 28th and 29th. So if you go back to that date, you will find the links. Dark Hour says, to the top, make it drop. That's a dot, dot, dot. A song? <laughs> what Kendall could it says, be? Also, Joe, I saw that you're going to have Lillian on stream soon. I'm excited for Wait, that. who? Lillian. Lillian. That's all the information I have. I need to know. No Down doubt. To the, top to, oh the top, to the top, to the top. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, same here. Is tummy grumbling? Uh, it's about to. I feel it turning. We've got about a half hour left. Are you going to last or do you want to go get something? Oh, it growls. It <gasps> oh, good job, little buddy. <laughs> little black cats, but they're blue. There's going to be a blue cat here. Okay, so there's option one. Beep. Now, for option two, any feelings? Sam did no. a really great uh, sunset kind of coloring, so I kind of feel like doing that. Also because, um, <laughs> Joe says, oh, sweet summer's child. <laughs> well, I'm just going to have to listen to all of No Doubt again, I guess. <laughs> No, there's, it's like tied to the tracks. Uh, there's something about. No, tied to the tracks. Are you sure that's it? It's not the name of the song. It's just a, a line in it as well. Excuse me, mister. Is that Excuse song? me, mister. You got things all wrong. Make it feel like a crime. Yeah. So don't confuse me, mister. I've known you too long. All I need is a little bit of your time. There's nothing in this lyric that says to the top, to the top, though. That's weird. Or does it? Or does it? <gasps> uh, I th Maybe that's why I didn't recognize it. I don't know. Maybe your brain just put it in there. It could be wrong. It could be right. Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> hmm. Consideration. Hmm. Um. Oh, did you read the chat at all? Uh, no, Dark Hour says, no. "Yes, Lillian Darmano. Ooh. She's an amazing illustrator." Says Kindle. I'll try to make it, but that tends to be dinner time for my time zone. And Dark Hour says, "We've had them on before, and I was just blown away. Go check that out if you haven't already." Oh, I'm referencing a completely different song because my brain got stuck on words. <laughs> yeah, mine too. Anyway, back to Google. <laughs> I agree. Brain stuck on words. That's our existence. Okay, so if it's like sunsetty, this looks very bright for sunsetty, so I might darken it. Ooh, I'm gonna look up something. I'm gonna get reference. Oh, pat's on the back for me. Okay, so. Uh, sunset, um, it's gonna be, in the clouds. Sunset in the clouds, that's what I'm searching for. Ooh! <gasps> oh my! I love it! Okay, I think I remember another part of it. She's like, I can't turn back now. That's another lyric from that song. Does that ring a bell? I can't turn back now. I mean, that rings all the bells for no doubt, I feel like. <laughs> the climb, I, I oh, guess it's called. Oh, yeah. You're right. It's coming back to me now. It's called the climb. Yeah. No doubt. The climb. Before oh, Miley yeah. said the climb. 
Uh, have you ever ridden in a plane when it's sunset and you look down on the clouds? So, uh, I don't know, sunset maybe, but the end of the song goes, climb up to the top, to the top, to the top, looking back to you, looking back to you, looking back to you. Absolutely. But it's, it starts out, step by step, I come closer to reaching the top. Every step must be placed so that I don't fall off. Yeah, yeah that's definitely the one. Okay, that's the that's one. Ha <laughs> mystery solved. Anthony I'm going to listen to all of No Doubt Ooh, anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good job. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, by the way, this cloud right here looks totally like a horse galloping forward. I'm getting another response. <gasps> Something's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Everybody listen to, to me No Doubt. Slack. No Doubt's real good. Yeah, the climb. No oh, wait. I was thinking of Miley. It's the climb. Yeah, but. Different uh, vibe for sure. <laughs> Hers feels says, more epic. Wait, where... talk... wait, are we talking about Miley Cyrus now? No, we're talking about <laughs> no, no Doubt. No, we're talking about No Doubt. An old well, now we are talking about Miley Cyrus. I mean, um, Dark Ever says also Lillian had a talk for Adobe Max 2020. It was so, so, so good. So, so, so or good. Kendall says, Ooh, I'll have to check that out. And Alessandra says, Sorry, y'all had to, had to step out. <clears throat> My mom felt sick and I had to get her ginger ale. Ginger ale is the Ooh, best. Thank yummy. you for taking care of your mumsy. But also, if you ever need to step out for anything, there are no apologies needed. You just do your thing. Do your thing, girl. I ain't no other man. Tarker yeah, says, oh, I have airplane content to post to Discord. Ah. And Rin says, Woohoo! You solved that musical mystery, Anthony. Yeah, that's oh, right. Did. You got it. You knew. That was uh, very satisfying, I have to say. Whenever you find an earworm thing and like actually figure out what it is, that's the best day. Does this look crazy? I'm using reference, so I can't. <laughs> ASMR quickity clack. That's what we get here. I think a little bit of like bright orange along the edge of these guys will bring it into that kind of cloud world instead of it just looking like blobs of weird color. Yeah. Also, uh, Joe, I'm expecting it to be like the pictures that I'm thinking of, of uh, out the out the window of a, oh my gosh, cute, um, <laughs> of an airplane. But no, it's little chicken nugget bed hair. Oh my gosh, Milo is so cute. Oh, and looks so soft. Joe, is that the softest fur? Can you just shove your face in it for me? Ooh, so good. Scritches. Scritches for the baby. <laughs> Resources galore. Whoa! Oh yeah, if you guys didn't catch Doodle Therapy earlier, uh, we had a how to promote yourself as, as, uh, as an illustrator stream uh, with Daniel Fischel, it looks like, which is awesome! So go check it out. That's day one of two, and so they're going to be back tomorrow. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Joe says millions is the softest baby the softest <laughs> excuse me I burped mm, Joe says ugh this reminds me that I have uh, I have a yet video I still haven't found a YT a YouTube's video that I haven't found uh, by the way <laughs> I just thought that Millions was your uh, like nickname for your dog, but <laughs> apparently that was autocorrect. Rin Wait, says, that's from Kipo and the Wilder Beasts. What? Age of the Wonder Beasts. Yeah. Millions. <laughs> yeah, Millions and Billions, the wolf wolf pack leaders. I don't remember. Oh, Yikes. Pretty I'm pretty sure that. Rewatch. Anyway, interesting that you thought it was a dog's name because that's kind of what it was. Oh, yeah, it's uh, Joe is talking about their dog. Millions and billions from Kipo. <laughs> or Le Million from uh, My Hero Academia. So good. Uh, by the way, Loki comes out today, I believe. So go what watch that What episode are we tonight. on? Uh, I think three or four? Two or three? Four? It must be four. Four, three, two, one. I watched episode one and two 
I haven't seen the latest, but then I feel like there was another one. <laughs> Pretty cool. Well, you should watch it. Yeah, I, I know, I've just been working late and then oh, wanting yeah, yeah. to, I don't know, not look at a screen. I totally understand that. I understand In some that. capacity, because I'll still be like on my phone, but I'm like, ugh. No, whatever you need to do to heal from working so much. Heal. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah, you're going through a thing. <laughs> like, it's not as bad as it has time. been in the past, if that's any consolation to you feeling poorly for me. <laughs> I'm, all I'm saying is you take care of yourself however it works, and if it is silly, like looking at your phone, like, don't worry. If it works, it works. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was just saying, like, I don't want to watch Loki because I don't want to look at a screen, but I'm looking at a screen anyway, and I want to watch Loki, so... Watch it on your phone! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. There you go. Oh, man. Oh, it's episode four. Anthony Jackson said in the chat. Oh, episode four. Okay, excellent. Uh, also, we've been rewatching uh, Heroes, the first season. James got it on Blu-ray, and we busted out the uh, Xbox that you're lending us to watch it. And What is it? Um, Heroes. Do you remember that show? You're watching Heroes on Xbox? Yeah, it's a Blu-ray. Oh, yeah. yeah is yeah, this yeah, because yeah, we were yeah. talking about it the other day, or you were talking about it on stream with Matt? Uh, I, he had ordered it pretty, I think it was like right before that, which was one of the things with Matt. I was like, that's crazy. You bring that up because he just ordered it and it's on its way now. Is it not streaming anywhere? Uh, no. And he just wanted to own the first season anyway. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Like just rewatching it. I'm like, yeah, they the first season really has so much with... suspense and character building. Yeah. And like the, every single episode feels like it ends in such a cliffhanger that you're like, I have to watch the next one. And I think that's what they really did. Well, it's just that hook kind of thing. Oh man. I watched that so much. Yeah. You watched it so much. Like, so I much. sat down in front of my computer <laughs> and I ate chicken and rice oh, and cheese. Yum. <laughs> the three food groups, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, the year I took off between high school and college. Oh, so you were like all about it. Like, this is my time now. It was like a ritual. Like, that's I all know. I ate and that's all I watched. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it was a bad year. <laughs> oh, but... Some people's gap years are good. Mine was... Man. Not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. But Heroes was good, so. Made it all better, right? Rice, chicken, and cheese was also good. <laughs> Rice, chicken, and cheese. <laughs> all right, here's our really rough sunset one. All right, next one. What do you think? What do you say? Sunrise. <laughs> it's going to be very different. I don't know if it is. Uh, Joe says, "Oh, I really want to watch that show. I never was. Uh, I never got to when it was hip, when it was hip and happening. Hip, the hip, the Goodness, hip. I wish I had taken a gap year. Yeah, I think that gap years can be really good, but it all depends on where you are and what you're doing. I don't know. Yeah, plan for it, I guess. Mine was on prompt or impromptu and bad. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna look up at sunrise in the clouds." big change from sunset in the clouds i mean yeah it's pretty different dark hour says uh millions is her official nickname now amazing it happened on stream haha <laughs> i feel like morning fog is kind of a part of it too where it's got that really cool blue but contrasted with the really warm sky so it's kind of a mixture of the two that we've already done how crazy <laughs> whoa, whoa. Alessandra says, y'all, now we about to have a rainstorm, LOL. Oh, what? weather, what are you doing? Whether the weather is weatherable. Whether we like it or not. Exactly. Weather Kendall says, weather. I also would like to recommend everyone watch It's Okay to Not Be Okay. It's officially in my top five favorite shows ever watched. And Dark Arrow says, my sister and father betrayed me and watched all the episodes without <laughs> me after we watched the first one together. So they have Got seen... There. A moment in the show and I have not it is unacceptable <laughs> Dark Arrow says wrong. oh I really oh I really want to watch that show I never got 
got to it when it was hit. Oh, right, you read that. Dark Hours goes on to say, goodness, I wish I had taken a gap here. You saw that one too. Dark Hours says, rice, chicken, and cheese is totally a vibe. And Kittle <laughs> says, also, it's or also the it's okay to not be okay just gonna refer to it as it's okay from now on yeah. has a really interesting storytelling aspect including children's books and a lot of mental health oh my gosh and is that meant for us crazy sounds like it rin suggests forest scape colors forest scape ooh like they're going through a forest ooh, or yeah. above mm -hmm. i suppose it doesn't have to be the sky it doesn't have to be the sky. In fact, maybe they're even brushing the tops of trees because they're kind of dragging from all the weight of like three of them on there. <laughs> That'd be fun. I think we'll play with that for the third one or fourth one, whatever time is. Wait, time. Time. Numbers. Yeah. Time's not Speaking of Loki. <laughs> time numbers cool. kendall says i just want to watch it again and dark hour says also should totally do kiki's delivery service palette sky oh, update it's gosh. just white now just love the rich. pan flag vibes in the sunset sunrise color oh test. heck yeah who knew <laughs> i love the uh like all of the flags now basically you could make uh, an image of all the flag colors of any flag by the way i posted where was the i think it was uh something about celebrating oh my gosh what are even our channels now merch no let's see small businesses shop directory i think it was shop Somewhere directory on the discord <laughs> There's something on the Discord. I put a link there for a Kickstarter for uh, pins that were all botanical like illustrations, but they were all in the colors of the different pride flags, which was. I, I just Are there any them. keywords? Because there's a search bar on Discord. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pins was that one? Pins, pride, petunia. Pride pins, <laughs> petunia. What? Yeah, boom, found it. It's on the shop directory channel and I put in pins and I will put it in the chat because it's a great Kickstarter. I don't know if it's over now. Wait, wait, was it in general? It is in shop directory, which is under resources. Because there's another one from 608 that says, I love, love, love this pride flower pin Kickstarter. And it says hashtag general. On. You're correct. Uh, maybe I posted it twice because I loved it that much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I love them. Okay, I'm gonna post it. Boom, nailed it. Pingia. Oh, and Ryan says Ikea has pride love seeds that are really cool. I want to see them. Buy couch was great. Best Buy. Best Buy? Is that a, a pun you just made? Did you just uh, make a pun? It may be a little one. The Best Buy. <laughs> I don't know if any of my friends are by, but if one of them was, then I would call them the Best Buy. Ashley is. Oh, really? She's the Best Buy. Yeah. Rosie as well. Oh my gosh, Best Buy. <laughs> Wait, I can't say it about two of them. Oh no. <laughs> that's so funny i guess i've just never asked about their sexuality <laughs> when does it ever come up every day every single day our household is very queer well that's the thing i always just know like yeah you're queer but like i don't know further than that i guess queer is like the blanket statement dive 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 oh my gosh what's happening <laughs> Okay. Uh, we're exploring. Uh, oh, yeah. I get to the depths of it. Depth. Orion seat. posted the love seats. Love seats. Hoo ha ha. I want to see. Wait, where? Uh, Is shop it in the directory. Chat? Oh, okay. In the Discord. Dip, 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 dip. We really have too many channels. <laughs> there we go, shop directory. How do I get rid of this? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's how. Okay, cool, 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 cool. 
So this is in the shop directory and we can see the love seats. Thank you, Ryan, for posting this. Oh my gosh. I think they're more like art pieces and not really couches or love seats you could buy. Is that right? They seem a little I think progress not would be functional. impossible, yeah. <laughs> The other ones I could see actually. Oh my gosh, I want the transgender one to be real, please. I know that that one looks lovely. Lovely. Yeah, I'm just judging based on uh, design. I like I the guess. asexual one too kind of <laughs> looks like a, oh, it's so cool. a, a quartz that you break into. Absolutely. These are all really cool. When you change or and and nobody believes you. Or and or or two and there we go nailed it. <laughs> Are those gloves? Do you think they put gloves on there? How would yeah. that feel to sit on? Handsy. <laughs> oh my gosh. There are two for transgender. I think. Anyways, I love them. Thank you so much for posting. This is very cool. I had no idea IKEA had, I don't know, representation, I suppose? Beep, bop, boop. Okay. I guess, yeah, that is a little nitpicky thing of it is during Pride Month where companies represent the, what, rainbow washing <laughs> that happens with companies. Yeah, exactly. That's why you had no idea, because they don't ever do it. <laughs> it's possible. There's Maybe. like, I'm trying to be a little more positive. I feel like after Juneteenth, I was kind of like too negative about it. <laughs> and like, I, I, I understand my own point of being negative. <laughs> I get me, but, yeah. uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I also <laughs> disagree, but I also feel that I could stand to try to be more positive, especially openly. Like, I don't want anybody to feel like, you know, Things are being poo-pooed, because that is definitely not the intention. It's just, uh... <laughs> if we learned anything from earlier in the stream, <laughs> no we poop. shouldn't poo-poo anything. <laughs> okay. That's the rule now. No poop. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I, I know you guys very... Uh, I know that everyone here very well, uh, d like, gives me a benefit of the doubt, but I also just want to do my best to bring good things to you guys and it's not always easy and it's not always authentic but i think it may make somebody's day better rather than worse and i think that's worth it but hey let me know your thoughts this is all in flux your emotions <laughs> my thoughts on how i present information especially on the stream like i have not been like reached out to by anyone or anything like that it's just something i think about because this is what i do <laughs> that's what people do uh and from shrek i think also part of being in isolation if we want to get real about it i've been watching inside <laughs> uh bo burnham special and thinking about the impacts of um being inside and being away from people and i definitely think i'm more pessimistic now and less of a, I don't know, an idealist, I guess. And it's less fun <laughs> to exist this way. I know for a fact. And oh, me too. So, Welcome yeah. to my Welcome existence. Welcome to the depressed part of <laughs> uh, the psyche, I guess. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, and it's not necessarily like I want it to be fun for me or whatever. It's just in general, like, what are you doing when you're spreading words that are pessimistic? Like... Is that going to change anything? Probably not. Even if it's reality. Even if it is an irrefutable fact that things suck. Uh, I don't want to just pile on. And so if I'm saying something sucks, I, I think maybe my rule for myself should be you have to find a way to like either make a positive impact about it or find a way to make people feel better. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think that's been most of my existence has been like I can really spin it for myself and make it like okay well at least this at least that silver lining right uh, and I think that part of me has just ebbed away because there are so few silver linings for a lot of the things that we've gone through and uh, I don't want to lie I think that's the, the edge of like I don't want it to be 
something where we like aren't talking about the truth anymore that would be the worst probably the worst outcome impossible um but i i also just feel like we should err towards the side of um bringing people art and thoughts and good conversation but not in a way that drags them down or makes them feel worse because that's not my goal anyways speech over <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go for foliage and foresty vibes on this part. I really like the idea of hitting the edges of like trees and stuff. So I'm gonna just pop them down here. And we'll probably design out like an edge of trees if we go for this idea. Uh, oh, there goes the owl. I'm in the wrong group. And so are you, okay. Darkover says, you are the best, Anna, always making my day better. And Kendall says, I need to finish watching Inside. And Darkover goes on to say, I also need to finish watching it. And Kendall says, I s keep starting it, but then life, aka bedtime, happens. And I'm either asleep on the couch or realize it's 12 a.m. and I have work in the morning. Darkover says, me, a depression owner, speaking only for myself, you have never ever made my depression worse only better and kendall says thank you for the anna log always <laughs> appreciate hearing from you it's when i monologue or if i do something not digital analog i love it um thank you very much you are all very kind and understanding and like i said i think that everyone here the the, the like you know community that we've cultivated and has always been present on Behance before we got here, uh, I think is a very understanding one that has never like tried to assume the worst of us. Uh, like, oh, you you only want to make people feel bad or like you're talking about poop and I hate that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, but uh, <laughs> I didn't want to keep on ragging Well, on that's <laughs> not part of our community, you know, but yeah. um, I'm just saying it, it's totally a joke. If Bill is watching, it's totally a joke. Uh, but anyways, the idea that um, that you don't assume like it, it never you never make a bad faith argument against us, uh, I think, is something that we take for granted in some ways. Like if somebody saw this video for whatever reason and they thought, well, I don't like that. I don't like you very much, you know, then uh, they could make any argument to put a spin on whatever we sp say and stuff like that. So I just I guess just want to minimize the possibility of um, people being able to be right about that. <laughs> I want them to be wrong if they're making a bad faith argument. Anyways, it's like a super, super, super small nuance to the way we talk and think. Uh, but I think overall, in the terms of like people watching our streams regularly, it has a big impact. It's kind of yeah. like Atomic Habits, you know, the smallest things accrue to big effect. And uh, I think that it's worth talking about and thinking about, but not necessarily like a major concern where you're like, ah, you're doing it wrong, do it better, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, thanks for the talk. Alessandra says, yeah, I always appreciate hearing from you too, Anna. You are great. And Dark Hour says, in honor of Bill, I'm going to think of poop once every day. I love it. I hope Bill knows that like he brought a greatness to our lives <laughs> by being a little you sour. You made the Bill. stream better. <laughs> if you guys don't know, earlier there was somebody in the stream who did not like poop talk, and that's totally valid and totally fine. It's just funny to us now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but they called it out so <laughs> directly in the chat was the funny part. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Just gonna imply like that the trees go back here that kind of thing that we're kind of seeing them in a telephoto way so it's it looks like almost a straight horizontal that's the goal at least and then i want definitely like spray off of like oh they they just hit the tree and leaves are coming off or needles or whatever kind of tree these are needle trees evergreen conifer God makes sound effects also. And this is a really good opportunity to show that motion as well. Like they're. Oh, wait. Ah, 
Well, I mean, it's not like the wind is blowing. That's what I was thinking of, I guess. So they hit it and the stuff sprays back like that. Right? Is that what happens when they... Sp or does it spray this way? No. They're, they're going this way. And this tree is standing straight up. And then... If it's in the act of being hit, it would bend this way. Yeah? Does Maybe it's... do it after it was hit. Maybe that would help the trailing motion more. Because if it looks like they're gliding with it, it might... I don't know. Stagnate it? Yeah. Break the momentum. Literally, it would. And like I said earlier, this is just a, a color comp, so it's not necessarily like the best designed out shapes or anything like that, and we can always come back to it. This is mostly just for color. So, and I would highly recommend doing this step if you ever feel like you don't necessarily love the colors that you're going with uh, consistently, then slowing down and doing some different color options, you will nine times out of 10 find a better color option than if you hadn't done it. Okay, and then I should take away the big arrow above them because that doesn't exist in their world. And what kind of colors would they be? I also it's just like a tree that's <laughs> flying through the forest with them. I hit a tree. Uh, what kind of colors would they be? Baby? I'm thinking like a dark blue. Are you having any feelings towards any of these so far? No, not really. Chat? Any feelings? I, I know a lot of people said that they liked the sun set one. The sun? But yeah. So this Which one's, one's one. This Call one's them out. Two. This one's three. This one's four. Let me know any feelings. And I'm probably going to back away from them for a second and then like decide. Come up with a fifth. Off stream. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah. That's, that happens quite often as well. <laughs> Uh, and this is just a beginning color thing. I also love to do uh, like soft light layers over things so that I can really get a feel for zhuzhing the colors into place. Your favorite word, zhuzh. Also, I, I kind of made this tree one into a bit of a foggy day as well, and I kind of want to change that. So I'm going to go levels first. And just go on the, I'm going to clip it to the sky layer. Ryan wants something very specific. Oh my. Tell Purple, green, dark blue, black with white outlines. A purple and, and we green also one. have purple, green, dark blue, black, and white outlines. With yeah. black uh, black with white outlines. Uh-huh. So maybe the background's just so dark that you have to outline the characters in white? Ryan, I think I need like to send rim you light? the the lines and you can color it. <laughs> and it does know have a Patreon doing. where she does provide some resources for people to wow, color. You jumped on that, Anthony. You're like, actually she has a Patreon. <laughs> actually, guys, Patreon. <laughs> Mods, did you hear that? Patreon. Where's the link? <laughs> take down uh okay so this is our first sky pretty dark and dull and so i just popped it up and i think it looks a lot brighter now but we still need to mess with their colors to make them feel like they're in brightness so i think let's do this is kind of uh, cool. ryan right. says "Ooh, i'd love that and kindle says same as ryan i would love seeing more darker purples Ooh, dark and then um, Rin said the sunset is gorgeous, and Alessandra said, yeah, I like the sunset, number two. So for this, since we are- Abraham's at... just laughing. Abraham just enjoys everything that's going on. <laughs> I'm so glad. So uh, what I would love is this stream is basically over, which is kind of perfect because this question can now carry over to you guys. And if you have a super strong idea of the colors, why don't we democratize this? And I will put this file of PSD of just the lines up on Discord. And then you guys can hop into Photoshop and color it up. What do you think? 
Uh, uh, uh. That sounds sound great. Yeah, that's a perfect way to vote on what color you want. Is exactly. Make your own colors. <laughs> Ryan says, normally I join your Patreon, but I'm going to wait until your Behance gets set up and then I'll join that. Oh my gosh, Ryan. Yeah, we're talking about um, subscriptions uh, that's coming to Behance. So that's exciting. We're thinking of ideas and what could possibly be in there. So Ryan's at the forefront of that and knows everything. Uh, and so let's see here in the discord, where should we post these? I think let's collaboration hasn't been touched for a while. If you guys color the PSD that I put in the collaboration channel, please, please, please post it. And I want to see what colors you come up with. You can do a color comp like this. That's super loosey goosey just to show me, or you can color it completely and do whatever you want. Cause like, I don't want to hold you back. This is a collaboration. So uh, let's do that. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. Sounds great. I am so excited. Okay. Uh, then I will see you guys next time. This is our color comp stuff for now. I would totally still finagle with it before going to like a final. But honestly, the best advice I can give is if you don't know exactly what you like yet, step away from it and come back. I bet you your feelings will be 10 times stronger. Sound good? Sounds good. Sounds great. <laughs> uh, so, Anthony, before we go, yeah, do you have anything to say to the chat? Um, thanks, chat, for being a great chat. Yeah. Thanks, Anthony, for actually, like, I'm so glad that you got to, like, hang out with us, uh, not only in work form, but also in chat form. Thank you for that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Anyways, I have to go because apparently I have to oh, okay, on a work call. <laughs> Okay, uh, check out other streamers Just here got on a Behance. Zoom link. Ryan Selvi is a streamer here. Uh, we've got, Rin actually has a stream up too. I finally heard your voice, Rin. <laughs> uh, and also <laughs> there are links now. below for our mods, Kendall and Joe. Thank you so, so, so much for modding. Give them love in the chat. <laughs> Uh, and check out Alessandra's Patreon. And we've got a, a ton of different friends who are artists who are working hard. And there's a Discord to hang out with <coughs> all of them because, like, basically everybody here is at the Discord. So join the Discord. Links in the description. Thanks for hanging and out. Thanks for the thumbs up, everybody. Thanks for the thumbs up. We will see you. Very all 46 soon. of you. <laughs> 46? Dang. Oh, wait, did they give us 46 likes? Well, I mean, there's 46 people watching, but oh, there's only 17 little thummies that I only see. Only 17, you 46ers. All right, anyway. Ooh, 18. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's going up. up. <laughs> we'll count it live. <laughs> and another. No, and I really got to go. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. See you later. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Okay. I got to go from our, our chat too. Yeah, I got to go. Okay. Bye. <laughs>